Hi and welcome to North Shore Helicopter Training, Robinson 22 Startup Tutorial. Pre-start checks, fuel cock in the on position, rotor brake disengaged. Coming forward to the compass, pointed in the right direction. Moving down to the instrument panel, all reading as they should, setting the altimeter to field elevation. Keys in the off position, master battery off, alternator off, clutch disengaged, strobe in the on position, nav lights off, clock is working, radio off, transponder off, fuel mixture is out, and ELT in the armed position. Circuit breakers all down, physically feeling them. Carp heat in the down position and the heater blower switched off. Checking our full and free movement of the controls now, taking the frictions off, cyclic and collective. Raising collective fully and full cyclic movement all the way around, unimpeded and recentered. Collective down, throttle full open, full closed, back through the indent. Spring release to zero, governor check in the off position, pedals full and free both ways. And friction's back on and we're ready for engine start. Fuel mixture in the on position, master battery on. Head out the door, all clear, strobe light working, priming the engine, throttle open and closed once, and engine start. As soon as the engine starts, all pressure should be straight away and engine RPM up to 60%. Clutch engagement. Alternator on, clutch engage. Positive charge, light out. Full clutch engagement within 90 seconds and roll throttle on 75% to continue warming up the engine and do our engine run-up checks. Resetting the artificial horizon, radio on, correct frequency, transponder on, 1500, and a radio check. Checking the outside air temperature gaze against the manifold pressure limit, engine run-up checks. First the carb heat, carb heat full hot, a small drop in RPM and a rise in carb temperature, disengage, full cold. Small rise in RPM and a drop in temperature. Magneto checks, first to the left for two seconds, no more than 7% drop, back to both. Switch to the right, no more than 7% drop in RPM over two seconds and back to both. Cylinder head temperature should now be in the green and we roll throttle on to 100% for the low rotor horn check. Small raise in collective, roll throttle off, alarm comes on, roll throttle back on, alarm goes off, collective down, roll throttle off completely, full split of the needles for the spray clutch check, join the needles back 75%. Pre takeoff checks, warning lights are all out except the governor. Instruments are all set. T's and P's are three in the green. We have sufficient fuel. The car heat is checked and disengaged and we are hatched and harnessed. Frictions now come off, cyclic first, collective last. Trims and transponder are away. Transponder is set to out, 1500. RPM rolling in. Governor engaged past 80% and settling steady. 104% and holding. You're ready to go and enjoy your flight. Don't forget the goal. If the governor, the OAT, the alternator or the low rotor system are not working, don't begin your flight.